JLR investigates. I am covering the case of missing 15 year old Sebastian Rogers. This is part two of three videos that I have in reference to the search for Sebastian Rogers and understanding the prior steps Sebastian Rogers and Katie Proudfoot took prior to Sebastian Rogers being reported missing by Katie Proudfoot, his mom. Katie Proudfoot reported Sebastian Rogers missing on the morning of February 26, 2024. On the 25th, Sebastian and Katie were here at the Texas Roadhouse. I took you on a trip on the most logical and quickest way to get from Texas Roadhouse to the Proudfoot's home. And we went and drove and I showed you the area. Now I'm gonna show you a second way to get home. The second most logical way uh, to get from here to the Proudfoot home. So we're gonna go on a trip, we're gonna go on a journey, and we're gonna see what this route consists of. This is part two of three. Check it out. All right, folks, here we go. Leaving Texas Roadhouse on the way to the home of Katie and Christopher Proudfoot. Katie Proudfoot, again, tells everyone on social media and tells people on the news that after she returned, after she ate with Sebastian, she returned home with Sebastian. Is that story true? I'm going to take you another possible route. The second most logical route. Same thing. We're going to make a left right up here. We're going to make a left. And we are going... This is, again, about five and a half miles from the Proudfoot home. It's busier now. I made this part two a little bit more busy uh, later on. I'm stuck in traffic here. Do you think Katie Proudfoot made any stops in between Texas Roadhouse and her home? Did she interact with anyone? She stopped for gas. Did she meet anybody? Make any extra stops? Looks like they were eating around six-ish. Sunday the 5th, around six-ish. And we're off. So here we go. We're gonna do the same thing. We're going to make a left. Busy intersection, surveillance on the street lights. And we are going to cross again, 386. We're going to cross 386. traffic out here what was the traffic like on Sunday evening what was the traffic like so we're driving along here and this is coming up stop 30 road in the last video we made, folks, we made a left on Stop 30, which eventually takes you to New Shackle Island Road. We are going to go straight this time, folks. Straight. And this road is called Drake's Creek Road. And to the left is Drake's Creek. It's more rural here.
Drake's Creek Road. The Katie Proudfoot and Sebastian take this route home. see the area, you see what it looks like, now it looks like this is a some sort of elementary school on the right, it says Dr. William Burris Elementary School. homes out here. So right here, we're going to make a left. We're going to go around. The map says make a left and we're going to go around a place called Hendersonville Rugby Center and it is along the Drake Creek which you can see on the left park area check that out it's on the left speed limit is 15 around here where is Sebastian Sebastian, go this way. Stop anywhere in between this way. Go another direction. Now up here we're going to make a left. And this is called Old Drake's Creek Road. This is going to take us to New Shackle Island Road. folks. A little traffic here. Coming up here is New Shackle Creek Road. Where's Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers?
some cars want to make a left so that's why we're backed up here Sebastian's 15 years old. Shouldn't even say this in past tense. Sebastian is 15 years old. No evidence of foul play. No evidence of any kidnapping. No evidence of anybody wandering off. No evidence of any criminal activity that police are publicly saying It's a mystery. Was there a crime? Is this a crime? Do you consider this a crime or not? Or is it just a young kid that wandered off barefoot with a flashlight before it goes before it gets light? What do you think? Well, we're about to move here. Here we go. Taking a right. Now we took this route before. We'll show it again. Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. Anything you see this time that you didn't see the last time, this is like a redo at this point. One more other logical way that Katie Proffitt could have took home. Anything else means that Katie Proffitt went out of her way to return home. Any other way be this one, and there will be one more. This is part two of three. Any other way, folks, would mean that Katie Proffitt took an unusual way home. A way that most people would not take returning here. This is Long Hollow Pike. Passing the schools again. the Keep Hope for Sebastian Rogers sign. Showed that sign before. Passing the Shackle Island Volunteer Rescue Station. The Beach Cumberland Presbyterian Church. The Development Making a right again. Kelly Lynn Lane. Neighborhood says, according to right there, this is called Victoria Place. Neighborhood of the Prophets. Neighborhood where Sebastian was reported missing. Katie Crawford. We make a left onto Stafford Court. Make another left onto Stafford Court. Here 
is the Prophet's home on the right. They do have a sign out for Sebastian. See the sign? Spin a camera around. Notice the cul-de-sac goes up the hill. Up the hill, folks. All right, there's the Proudfoot home. They have their lights on. They have the lights on. The van is still there. Mailbox is still open. Back out going towards the front of the neighborhood. JLR investigates. What do you think about that particular route? You think Katie Proudfoot took that route? She had to take some route. What route do you think she took? I am driving and subscribe to the channel. Like, hit the notification button. Someone knows something. Sebastian is out there somewhere. What happened? Who's involved? Or is this just a child wandering off? Foul play? A lot of scenarios. Boots on the ground. Check out my playlist. Check out part one. This is part two. Part three coming very, very soon. Stay tuned.